Hello, and in this short video I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started programming a GTK application using the Ada language in 2023. I'll be using the Alaya tool, link in the description, which will handle all the build dependencies, dependencies for us very easily. As you can see, I'm using version 1.2.1, which is the current release as of January 2023. The first thing to do is to get Alaya to initialize a new executable or binary project for us. This will create a template project. If we cd into the project directory, we can see the alaya.toml file, which holds the configuration of the project, a GPR file, which controls the build, and the source directory where our actual ADA code will reside. The alaya.toml file is very simple and we won't need to edit it directly. The next thing we need to do is to tell alaya that we're going to use the GTK ADA crate. This will pull in all the source dependencies we need for this project. A quick look at the alaya.toml file shows us that we now have the GTK ADA dependency in the project. Now I'm leaving the terminal and moving to VS Code where you can see that I have the ADA language support extension installed. Let's open our project directory and also fire up a shell inside VS Code. At this point, we should be able to cleanly build our project. Of course, it won't do anything, as we haven't added any code yet. The first build takes a little while, as it's building all the GTK stuff from source. Then, if we run the project, it verifies that the build is up to date, runs the executable, and it does precisely nothing, which is what we expect. So it's time to start adding some code. I'll open the main source file and let's split the shell window off to the side. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to have everything in a single source file, which is not the recommended approach for any proper project. We'll with the ADA GTK package and then call GTK main init in exactly the same way as you would do in C. Next we're going to need a window, so we'll declare one as main window. With the package, and create a new window via the GTK new method. We'll set its title, which is very straightforward. Then, as for most GTK programs, we'll end up by calling gtk.main.main the main event loop. So now we should have a runnable program. Let's see.
It's built successfully and very quickly now that the GTK package is all set up. I'll run it, but not much happens. Perhaps I'd better ask it to actually show the window. I'll build and run it again and drag it into view. Here you go, it runs. There's just one problem. When we close the window, the application doesn't actually terminate. We need to add a callback to finish the application nicely. As I said earlier, you wouldn't normally do all this in the main program. You might well have a separate GUI package containing all your GUI handling. But here, we'll just nest the procedure for the callback inside our main program. Incidentally, that's why this needs unrestricted access rather than the usual restricted access. The callback takes a widget as its parameter. Although we won't need to reference it today, so we'll just tell the compiler that that's not an error. And then all we want to do here is call gtk main main quit to finish up the application nicely. We just need to with the widget package. and then we can use the run command to both build and run the program. Oops, typo there, one second. Let's try again. Here we go, and this time when we close the window, the application exits normally. Finally, let's put something in our window. Just a simple GTK label will do. We'll declare it. With the type. and then create it again using GTK new in the main program.
We add it to the main window. Rebuild the application. Voila. I hope I've demonstrated how easy it is to get started with GTK in the Ada language using the modern tools that are freely available in 2023.